Bubu? Will uh, be transmitted to his prayer. So if his wudu is performed well, with a khushur, with the sunan, with lots of care and attention, then it's really far fetched that that person, that that person's prayer would be any different. So if a person's wudu is performed with khushur, uh, care and attention, then you can expect that his prayer would be performed with khushur care and, and uh, attention. Whereas if a person just comes to the sink and starts pouring water in his limbs and his, his mind is elsewhere and yes, he washed his limbs, but where's the for sure, where's the other elements of the wudu that uh, elevate it? Right? If one gives attention to those matters in addition to washing his limbs and what helps with that is the dua, the du'as that, we, that were mentioned then you can expect that in his prayer, he'll enter it with khushur as well. And that khushur will remain throughout the prayer, inshallah ta'ala. So when he says, Allahu Akbar, he'll say it and he'll mean it. Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater. And he put everything behind him. And the prayer, inshallah, will be complete. صلاة المفتاح ذو وضوء تبعه يلي يلي وي خشوع بمن أنا بيا صلاة سبدال أمر ذو مكتن تاو ما كيكل بيكت وضوء ذو من أنا بيا تكون سما يا شعر الذو وضوء ما تموش ذو سام من أنا بيا خشوع بمس بس نصب يا شحلو إن شاء الله تعالى يقول المحل ذو تبيك أمرين تا ي صلاة جديد أمرين تا سؤال دي إلى تغرفه بعض الإماء يتجه بقدر الإماء تجي صلاة صلاة سو مثلاً مثلاً مسجد زوري ما أزوج صلاة وتكون سامع سكت هذا القلب ذو سكينة بحمص سكت بعض الخنتيخ من النبي خونا شو بحمص دي شامة الإماء يغرفه بقطع يبى إن أجوم نشيح نبا ما نام به مثلاً سبعة صلاة سنة تكون سنة سكت بعض الخنتي لما تلم مفتاح السالفة الزول يزيك بعد ما السنسل متنا بتشان حد يلا إن شاء الله تعالى جيش على ما يرحب ذلا تحمسه الله يدعو لنا نام تقصان إن شاء الله في طريق نتقتل We mentioned earlier in the first lesson that when you wash your hand you say بسم الله بسم الله العظيم والحمد لله على دين الإسلام reminding yourself of the great endowment and the ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you which is the greatest ni'mah, the iman in the heart that one has for Allah and His Messenger and then when one does madmada he says, uh, he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, make him among those who mention him a lot and recite the Qur'an and are thankful اللهم أعني على تلاوة القرآن وذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك. So one is washing his mouth physically, but then there is that's connected to a meaning which is even greater, and it's connected with the hereafter, which is the perfection of one's use of that tongue with recitation of Quran, ذكر of Allah, the thankfulness of Allah, and one is asking Allah for that while he is. What washing his his mouth after he washes or rinses out his mouth, and then during a listening shop, which is when one inhales the water into his nose, uh, a little amount of water, he uh, one says, "Allahumma arihni ra'ihat al jannah, wa rizqni min na'imha." So again, you can see the relationship here. One is cleaning his nose out, but what is he asking for? He is asking Allah for uh, the. Uh, endowment of being able to smell the fragrance of paradise and to be granted its endowments. So one would say after al istinshaq Allahumma arihni ra'ihat al jannah wa rizuqni min na'imiha. And then when one comes to washing his face, one said, one washes his face from the hairline to the chin and from one ear to the other. That's the whole face. And he one would say, Allahumma bayyid wajhi yawma tabyaddu wujuhum wa taswaddu wujuhum. O Allah, enlighten my face on the day when faces will be illuminated. Illuminate my face. O Allah, illuminate my face 
on the day when faces will be illuminated and other faces will be darkened. So again, you can see the relationship with the very action that one's carrying out, which is washing one's face in the wudu, and the dua supplication that one is making it, but that one is making, which is connected with what the hereafter. And these duas are uh, have relationship to what's mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith of the Prophet So when one washes his face, he says, "Oh Allah, illuminate my face on on the day when faces will be illuminated and faces will be darkened." And then when one washes his right hand, he says, Allahumma a'tini kitabi biyamini wa hasibni hisaban yasira. O Allah, give me my book in my right hand and uh, make my uh, and make my reckoning an easy one. Uh, make my reckoning, my hisab, my account, an easy one. Again, and this is when when once this is, uh, one says this when one was washing his right hand. So every dua that's said at every point in wudu is related to the organ that one is washing. With, that one is washing. So that's why this approach to wudu is very powerful. Like this approach to wudu is powerful in the sense that uh, it can invoke, it, it invokes you, provokes you to think about what you're doing and to connect that thought with the hereafter which is what really counts. This life is the harvest ground for the hereafter. This life is where you plant and the hereafter is where you harvest and you uh, reap what you've planted in this life. So even in wudu, even in the very simple actions of wudu, great meanings can be extracted and now in that way wudu will not just be a simple action of washing the limbs, but it will now turn into a complete experience where one uh, remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and invokes Allah and asks Allah of the very things that he needs for his uh, betterment in this life and in the hereafter. <laughs> ይቀይማ <laughs> خير شيء يشبع ما أو شيء يشبع كنت أزوج ما جزء ما حمسي خنا البيت إنت في سؤال حتى بس عم زوج زوج دعائي دعاء زوج يا شعر أزوج دعاء زوج صح منو كتب عشان جيش أم كتب عشان يا فيت ينت حبا ما بيرني وزليان أزوج ما فيت هو أنت حلم أبيرني لني لاني أزوج صوت فيت كين بزليان هو مبرت صو جيش أم كتب عشان البيت إنت هو أخ وضو يا سلبا ما وضو موش ما في سو ما حتى مطري ما أنت وزليو يا آخر يا ماج حساب يا ماج زالوم كتب عشان بيت أنت أزوج الصوزو إجزوز حتى بسام كتاب زو كنيت برق بزال بحمسة حساب زو بزال يحمله حساب يعشوش في البيت بي يتوكس بيت أنت الله زو يا شعيبة بزال جازل دلها جبي سام بيت أمي وشوف ما شاء الله حتى في تواجه حتى متي ما تاو كل سنين الله الله توكس الله كتب عشان جيش مؤخرة كتب عشان بيت أنت هي أنا بيخ من أين أصوي خنا لي دائما يسالسو؟ زيتون خنا الإيمان ذو كم لبيت أنت؟ هي أين دوي سأوسى زوبين خشوع بحمسة جيشة مكتب مشبع آخرة وكتب مشبع مسة كمس ما يشربين هي من أين آيفون يستحل جيشة من تبل زار سلاس صورين تبل زار سو جيشة زوي لين حس بزار سو يا شحن بيت أنت؟ هي أين دوي يا شحن لي وطوزهم الله زاد تعبنا. So continuing in in what we've been talking about in the previous lesson, we've reached number five. 
So we talked about the basmada, what one says in washing one's hand. Then we talked about the magmaba, rinsing one's mouth, and what one says. Then we talked about the stinshap and healing the water, and what one says, and what and what one says after that. Then we talked about washing the face and what one says after that. Then we talked about uh, washing the arm and what one says after that. Okay, I guess this is number five then. Five or six, depending on the count. In any case, um, okay, so I'll count it as number five. Or six, if you include the bus number six. Okay, six, it's six. So uh, then we're in the Ghazli Yadi Ejusra. So when one washes one's left hand, he says, Allahumma la tu'tini kitabi bi shimali wa la min wara'i vahri. So the right hand is associated with goodness and with khayr and the left hand is associated with evil and with uh, bad things and uh, uh, with evil so because in the hereafter one receives his book those who receive their books with their right hand are successful and those who receive their books in their left hand are at great loss so when, when one washes his left hand, he says, Allahumma la tu'tini kitabi bi shimali wa la min wara'i wahri. O oh Allah, which means, O oh Allah, do not give me my book in my left hand, nor behind my back. And in another narration, instead of saying, wa la min wara'i wahri, one can say, wa la tuhasibni hisaban shadida. So that last part of the dua, there's two narrations for it. The first narration, Allahumma la tu'tini kitabi bi shimali وَلَا مِنْ وَرَاءِ ظَهْرِ And the second narration, Allahumma la tu'tini kitabi bi shimali wala la tuhasibni hisaban shadida And the last part, wala tuhasibni hisaban shadida means, O Allah, do not hold me to a, a difficult account. Do not make my account, my reckoning, a difficult one. So as you can see here, before when one was washing his right hand, he associated that with receiving the book with the right hand, huh? which is a good sign. And ask Allah that he be among those who receive their books with the right hand. Huh? And those are the saved ones. And those who, and when washing his left hand, he also, the, the one who makes wudu associates this with uh, receiving the book with the left hand. And he asks Allah that he not be among those who receive his book with his left hand. ما بيتو جزو زحطة بس أخوي بيتو جزو كنيت جو كسوزو كنيت تكن أتابعني تفر طرف بيجي ما تخل كروم بازو إلى كروم بازو مساحة بابتين أخي يوزع شا يوزع حتى بس دعاء يا شاوي من دعاء هذا الدعاء من أنت الله بيتوكسر كتاب زو بيتو إيجي بيرخ بزال زي مشا كده بيتو إيجي بيرخ بزال كم مسا الله زي دبلا بيتوكسر أزو كسو إيجي كتاب زيو حتى هر بيرخ بزال بيتو إيجي حتى هر بيرخ بيرخ بزال جن تفريج بيش أمج ذي خسارات مع زيادة كم مسا الله زي دبلا بتوكسر بعدين أزو كسو زو حساب زوم تبيك ليش بابو تبكسر حساب زيو تبيك ليش بعدين كم مسا دبلا جن تلا زال بعدين يا أنا بدعازو يا شنبي يكلهم يا كتاب كم مسا سلاح دان وقت أنا بالوت حلبا وحدزو بيتو إيجي بيت كي حتى حرب كتاب ستة بيت زال ساق وتنز بمن دبي حرب بيت أجمع زق بزلاك من الصوك الصوح حتى حرب رخ بزلاك ما الصوك الصوح حساب تبيك حساب يا شو زلاك من السام الدبل بيت دعاء حلب بيت. and again these supplications they have they give you insight into what's in the Quran Allah سبحانه وتعالى tells us in سورة الحاقة وأما من أوتي كتابه بشماله فيقول يا ليتني لم أوت كتابه ولم أدر ما حسابيه يا ليتها كانت القاضية ما أغنى عني مالية هلك عني سلطانية. And so in these verses Allah tells us that those who receive their books in their left hand, they would say that I wish I'd never received my book. I wish I'd never received it. 
And I wish I never knew my account. I wish I never knew what my stat might what my state would be in the hereafter. And then he says and later on states that he says that the money and the wealth that I had in this life did not benefit me, did not benefit me. And whatever I owned and had did not benefit me, it only led to my destruction and my uh, my loss in the hereafter. So again these meanings are found in the Quran. And, he, and in these verses, Allah tells us that he, the person hereafter would say that I wish that everything would have ended at death, at the point of death. But he realized in the hereafter that there is something more after death. You know? uh, either paradise will have fire. And then he finds himself being uh, in the path of those that go to hellfire. من حلبة يا بيتو يجي بيركز على كم الساعة الدبل من بيت حلبة حساب جوز تبيت له حساب تاس تاس يجوز على كم الساعة الدبل من بيت حلبة الزوج صوي سورة الحاقة بزال آيات به من يأتي وقال كتاب جو بيتو يجي بيركز بزال جوي من إلى يي كتاب مدنك نيازو أحد إلى يي كتاب مدن زنك نيازو زند أرجو اسمع جميلة يتزي موت خمطو آخر مرتبان گرومی حفظ زنان دو اسم جن سال انتها خوابه سال نگه سال انتها باز نمیاد یه تا موت مطلی آخر تخمی نبرگر اسم جن می می مت اسم جن علی ولداتیم دیند که ایم حشی نه دنیت زناره کلو تا سلطه هوا کلو زناره شی می حشی دو قلب فنی انتها خواب کلو شی زناره هم ولی با وقت هلاک هم می تبرد وی زناره شی کلو آخه حشی دو قلب مکرام قاف سعی دل حشی بلا يساق أحلى يقول زناري ألومي يتمت متأخر تخنجر من اللي مت بيجي بزورا أو من اللي مت حي أيام دي تمني لا يا ماجو يتزا سنة تنفعي ويا ماجو بي سنة إيش بزا العام دي جنبتي حي أيام بسنة زي يوشك أنت قافي حاجة فريق بعد زلمة بعد أنت الله فريق زلك إذا لك ما سيدنا منا okay so then after that one goes on to the next interval of wudu which is to wipe one's head and uh, one in the Shafi school, one must wipe at least a portion of the head, and even if it's one hair, or are the best and complete form is to wipe the whole head. So you put your hand here and you, you go back and forth. And if, it's your, if your hair is the type that uh, flips over, you go back and then you bring it forth. Mm -hmm. And that's the complete way to uh, wipe your head. So that's the outward aspect of wiping your head. Now. How do we translate that, or how do we uh, how do we implement the inward aspect of wiping one's head? What should wiping our head make us remember uh, about? What, what should it make us remember? Uh, so there's a dua that one says. When one wipes his head, he says, "Allahumma ghashini bi rahmatika." وأنزل علي من بركاتك. Oh Allah, cover me with your mercy, and send down upon me from your blessings. Huh? Uh, send down upon me from your blessings. Oh Allah, cover me with your mercy, and send down upon me from your blessings. ما بحرز من أشل بيتو جوز حتى ما بحر له وروسه يحصل بعدين. شافي ما ذهب كت وسنة زمن أنت يكون زو. كوتي جزوي رحسامة يأكد بيجلما إلى أحر يأستام جزوي حاسة على جنب اللؤلؤ الصو مع خيي موش زوجة منو خنا شجر زو قلب الزال قدور تجر زال خانة نارك يا كل أحر زوجة جوا بس حاسة سيوسا منو قاتا يوم ينحل شجر مبكلتي يوم ينحل بعدين يا شو شجر مبكلتي فيت له وصل زو كل في الزال خنو من بعدين أتاي وحاسة زال أجي بعدين ی موجزه به حساس می‌کنه. از جبهه کلی هر دوکه حلوه خام، کلی کلی کد دوکه حلوه حساس می‌کنه. 
And the first and foremost cover point of an individual is his head. The first thing that at the very top of his body is his head. So what that's what first that's the first thing that's covered before anything else is covered. Uh, so one is asking that Allah cover him with his mercy. And if anyway, so one wants to go further, one can remember the day of judgment when the sun is brought close to the heads of the people. And only those that are in the shade of the throne are protected from the heat of that sun. Uh, so the mercy of Allah there would be that one is covered and protected from the heat of the sun. So one can expand on the meanings of these uh, du'as that are mentioned in the, in the, in the wudu and really uh, bring about taqwa in his heart and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembrance of the hereafter in preparation for it. Okay. اللهم غشني برحمتك وأنزل علي من بركاتك ما الزبحر لبايو يي ورسو محاسس سوسا سازبحر لياش هذا الدعاء وي أمان بي أبي جيوكر بايو يي شاموي شايز الليل يا بابي شايز الليل يا ماج إرمو ورسمي لكم في بزات يا ماج داوي هذه الذي يصول إلى أي زبير يخد نازل من هنا على الزمن تحت الضوء شايز سدزاش له عشي شايز تحي في كان يجاش له الزبير يا جماعة الزبير ما الزبير ما تشوفي خدنا بيتين خم بحلم يدعو الزبير جنوا نعرف استمع نازوي يا شايز ليلة يا ما شايز أشكن الزبير ما ألبس خدنا بيتين تابع معنا زو يا أي معنا حلاوي على معنا استوزو حجنا نعرف كذي يا أنا بيني جيش أمو يتابع كتابه شهاد الكافي يا ودو مش ذوبي يا روس عصا السام يتابع روس محي إير لكم تلبازات يا أمو كتابه شهاد الوي سبحان الله عزيز كتابه زاش الصوخ من أشارك جيش أمو ذولي كتاب تب تب بيت الله يتأير لكم تلبازات يا أمو الله زي ما تشوف أرش جاي تحيب جاي أرش جزالة بعدم منه and when wiping the ears So when, with regards to wiping the ears, in the Shafri school one would take water with his hands and uh, go and follow the inner linings of his ear and then go over his, uh, the back of his ear with his thumb. So you wet your hands and then you uh, uh, take your index finger or the smaller finger or the index finger, you take it inside, you follow the inner uh, lines of your ear, and then you finish off with the thumb uh, above from the back of the ear. In other schools, they don't actually do that. It's sufficient if you just actually take water and you just wipe. Huh? Because that's easier for the people, and 
uh, they say that it's not really known exactly in what way the, the Prophet is and wiped his ear. So for them, it's just you take water and you, you're wiping it. Yeah? So one, that's how one wipes his ears. So when wiping his ears, there's a Torah that one says as well. And what is the ear connected with? Connected with hearing. Uh, use your ears to hear things around you. Uh, and hearing is then, of course, connected to your speech as well. So what is the dua? The dua is, Allahumma ja'alni min al-lazina yastami'oon al-qawla fa yattabi'oon ahsana. And this is also a verse in the Qur'an. Oh, there's a verse in the Qur'an that uh, is similar to this, this dua. Oh Allah, make me among those who listen to what is said and they follow the best of it. Allahumma ja'alni min al-lazina yastami'oon al-qawla fa yattabi'oon ahsana. So this is the dua that one says after wiping the ears. And the verse in the Quran is in Surah to Zumar. Allah praises those who listen to what is said and they follow the best of it. Allah tells us, Alladhina yastami'oon al-qawla fayattabi'oon ahsana Ula'ika alladhina hadahum Allah Wa ula'ika hum ulul albaab So those that hear, uh, those who listen to what is said and follow the best of it, they are the ones whom Allah guided. Ula'ika, then Allah tells us, Wa ula'ika hum ulul albaab And then those are the the essentially the righteous people. Those are the righteous people. The people of uh, al lub I mean, they have intellect. And not just the intellect that we know of, but they they have taqwa and they do what brings them them success in the hereafter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these du'as are related to verses in the Quran. So when one wipes his ear, he says this du'a, and then it reminds him that he that he's asking Allah to make him among those who listen to what is said and follow the best of it, uh, because this ear that we have will be questioned about the very things that we listen to, and will be questioned about how we use it. Are we listening in on riba? Are we listening to haram uh, instruments? Are we uh, listening to uh, gossip or tail bearing or things of that sort. So in other words, are we using our ears in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited? Or are we using it in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts and uh, ordered us to do so? Like listening to Quran, listening to uh, religious knowledge, uh, listening to the advice of others, uh, Tending to uh, sick people, to the needs of people, listening to what they have to say and helping them out, and so on. So, again, these du'as that are mentioned in wudu are connected to verses in the Quran, and ultimately it just gives the wudu a, 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 a more uh, greater experience. And it doesn't just become now washing your limbs with water, but washing your limbs with water combined with 
makes our sana in the heart and it just makes it for a better experience. And we ask Allah that He make us enable us to perfect our wudu. And this helps one perfect his wudu definitely, no doubt about it. My Haray Yi Zashuda Duam Quran Bahadbay. الذين يستمعون القول فيبتدون أحسنا أولئك هم أولو الألباب إلى الآيات وهي آيات تنوي تكان عندي يا تنوي ذا لاشنا أرجو يسموذي يسموذا الشيء إلي أورزو تخطر ذا لاش أزياء تكونوا في تاعك أنت وبيت يكون ذا الآيات محل بجيدة وهي أين كنت ببجيع شو جيزو قرآن وحديث بزدجاء تبع الدعاء ये दुआ हुई आशा भी मिलने तक आती ये आशा जाए या इतने ना बाजार से भी मुंगी शाम थक बहाल भी है उसने ही मुझे इतने ना बाल अल्लाह हराम दशे शिव इतने ना बाल कुल शिव भी मुझे जो भी समझा शिव भी या अर्रास जो भी सिल नज़ार भी थक रहा था कुछ ये समझा शिव भी थक रहा था ये हिजाज़ शिव भी थक रहा था या � an important thing to know here when washing your feet is that sometimes your feet might become extremely dry. So when you wash your feet uh, during wudu, make sure you rub on it. Rub on it with the water uh, to try to, so that the water can flow into those crevices and the cracked skin that you might have. Because the feet is dry and especially this time of year during the winter where it's, uh, there's not much moisture in the air, the skin can become extremely dry quite quickly. So when you make wudu and you wash your feet, try to get that water to reach the back heel. Don't be negligent of the heel. Many people might be negligent of that. Include your heel, include your ankle, rub. Let the water flow and then rub while it's flowing onto your heel and onto your feet so that it reaches every point of your feet, including the ankles. And then after you do that, so up to the ankle is the bare minimum. If you want to go above and beyond, you can go to your uh, uh, lower part of your shin bone. And even further, you can go up to your uh, middle part of your shin bone. And they even mention some companions say that they wash up to the knees, close, close to the knees. Uh, so all of that is, is beneficial. And uh, one of the things that make it important for one to wash above and beyond just the bare minimum uh, with regards to the organs is that is what the Prophet ﷺ told us about his nation that he will identify the members of his nation uh, because they are غُرْرِ uh, they're, they're their upper forearms and their, uh, their, upper fore, their upper legs will be illuminated on the Day of Judgment and he will identify is the people of his nation through that. And how did those areas of their body become illuminated? From the excess part that they wash during wudu. So there's always great benefit in doing that uh, when, you, when making wudu. Huh? And that's one of the benefits of it, is that the people of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the believers of the nation of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, will have this distinct sign on their, on their body parts, the upper forearms and the upper part of their leg. And the Prophet will identify them with that. So the law will be illuminated. As we have left, we in Guru Hatwala, the end of the Hatwasa, Ilawa, in the theatre, Tahar, in the theatre, Hatwali. A how or some Jaja Hanasa, that she did in Tama, go a dick at all here, me, the book of the life of the day. A ha in Guru at Kosho, the lane Tama. كشو تر 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 شو حلبة يا تكشو كرين كل يوم تا حلا سلتام يلي مي واحد زاد وسا حلف له لكن مقدرته مي زن لك هو حلف له لا يزود مال ميتال هو مقدرته زبرين يا الخون زال اللي بيتي أستاذ في الكربة وقصم حردة حردة اللي حرزوا حردة التاج اللي بدرك له إيه عند التأت لم يحرس وما يتكايسه درك تو یه زیر کوت، وس سعی زاشه و زن بورده و زن بورده و وس سو زی که من باکو تا، اتیتان یه فوق و بال، اتماس و فوق هم، می بلاگه تا ما فوق تا سعی کشور، میله، زی فوق سعی نیست سعی، 
Azuzo ayo dari kaya kui azuzo tayo mami Bisa wabuzo azuzo tayo tani kinti Bajia kusua azuzo tayo kataya shan Matbaayin sabab bim Al-mabeja sabab bim Akhama ingira Matmeja sabab bim Sahabu su Turuha ki bahatma Amam zil hatayo bi hati hati Azuzo ayo bayi azuzo tayo frik walu bayi Maya haifu ki atkishan wii Azuzo kusua ingira tayo bim yawach Ingira tayo bim yawam mifur hama Yatmas li atkishan bayi tinta Azuzo kusua azuzo Yiza sunna zuk wii ya كرون عند ارتئات ويزايد يسيف لانتاوي إلاوة قلتم ذو لبسك ذو إسحاد ذو أخوية ذو نزايد بي صحابة شوفونا أشنا رسوحة الصحابة إلاوة قلتك أشنا روي حاسك حقونا روي ذو هي لأخوي فايدة ذو من تبايا رسول عليه الصلاة والسلام أمتي أوي جيشا ما جتزو بلا يحقبا من أخونا عليا أوس سياش يدا لبتاهي بي تزايد لبتاهي تبيرنا كرتين يا ما بيران زو سو بيمورو في البي بليش لا بيرنا زو ما يش يا أوسع شو هذا الكلام زو زايد أو كاسي بي يا ما في كح زو ما بليش فاز زو زايد اللي بيرنا البي جيل زو تاب يا شو هذا أول تبع الموشة زو ما الزولة زو تاب مزايد الموشة زو فايدة حلوة بدنا الله ولا إحنا Okay, so one one after washing his feet, including his ankles, one would say, "Allahumma thabbit qadamiy ala sirat yawm tazidlu fihi al-aqdam." Allahumma thabbit qadamiy ala sirat yawm tazidlu fihi al-aqdam. O Allah, make my two feet firm on the bridge, a sirat, on the day when feet will slip on it. Huh? So again, what one connects the very organ that he's washing with. To an event that occurs in the hereafter, which is the crossing of the sirat. Right? Crossing occurs with what? With your two feet. Right? So one one is after one washes his feet, one would say this dua, reminding himself of that day, of that event that will take place, which the Prophet told us that everyone will cross it. Right? Everyone will cross over the sirat. So Allah told us that everyone will cross over the sirat. Right? And the way one crosses it is connected or related to his state in this life and his work in this life. Right? Spiritual works, religious works, obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The believers are in different uh, different uh, categories when it comes to cross the sirat. As for the kuffar, they would take uh, some steps and then they would fall into hellfire. And they and so some would uh, fly over the sirat, some would uh, some would take a few steps and like quick speed pass on the sirat. Some would walk and not fall and cross the sirat. Others would fall and then a hook would come pick them up and bring them back on the sirat. They would continue, fall again, a hook would come pick them up. And like that they would continue until they get past the sirat. So when one is washing his feet, he reminds himself of that very day when he will come to that salat and he'll have to cross it. Uh, so it's important for us to make it a habit in ourselves from now, inshallah, to try to say these du'as in, in our wudu and really remind ourselves of the hereafter because that's ultimately what, what counts. Uh, the hereafter is what counts. But in order to reach the hereafter, you have to go through this life. And you, inshallah, you want to make sure that you're going through this life uh, with obedience, with worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thankfulness of Allah ta'ala, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so, so that in the hereafter, inshallah, you'll be able to pass the very uh, stations of Yom al Qiyamah without any problems, inshallah ta'ala. ما ينقذه بس حتى بحرق ودعاء يا شاني يدعاء زخمته اللهم ثبت قدمي على الصراط المستقيم يا رب ما تزيد فيه الأقدام ما يدعاء ومتى الله تقصر من جرو سبتة كتا ما شيء في سبوق بين الصراط المستقيم إلى زال الصراط كوت زال تلدينا تلدينا يا تلدينا أخ الصوت تلدينا حلف زاي سا زد جهنم لا أيد زي كده تدلع أنت بعدي الزو شو يشتغل كم تلي سال ألف من داير مسل ألف من فيز ألف من داير مورد من فيز بس لا تدلع مع الزو الكوت أنا رجل جنات جنات لمحل محرين كل سوم كوت حلا زو تدلع 
معزول دلدلا ما هو يزلح تزال إنجر ما أخت يعني إنجر زحت بعزات دلدلا بيو الزصرات بيخوي الزما كي إنجر لو أستيت لهمي زي زلح تقول كير حنين منو كتب عشان هو أودو موجودة الزو آخر من تقول كتب عشان هذا بعدين يتسرات يا ما جزال توار وكتب عشان هيك كم زو الزو يا ما ج كافرات وخيج الزو يكان بيواز الحج دش أذاب بكملا يكان بمكان الكوكب بالله هو الزي خطر زي ما الزو يا ما ج تحوه توعي عشان هذا الزو يا ما ج كتب عشان بعدين يكون له من ته جيش عم كتب موش يا سرات ما أبيك استوى أزواج ما تقولف أزواج ما تماجح حلب البيت وكتبوا إيش سالوا سو كيشة ما تسوي إيش سبعة من آخر زوج إيش ب إيش ب هي أنا بيقول كتبوا إيش أبي آخر زوج إذا حد سو آخر زوج بايوزو سرعته لا إذا برا لوي أبغى أزوج خش اللي بيقابل يعني بيرجع مقلوب في الحرس سبحان الله كابل بايوزو أبغى أزوج خش اللي يعيش إذا حد يوم إنجر ما كفر بحلف له إذا حد يوم برا كتب بيش اللي بحلف له إذا حد زواج اللعيبة يتراوت على سو كتب ميل سال خل الزلال اللي سألت حد سعدي هو كل وذا قد أول كم تركب على التهزم إلى حد يوم ما أخام حجيس بكبد لأن كنت عايز أول كم تحب عشان مركب جاهم يا أنا نجاي ما تيت كم تأب بكل مهل في زلاج في حلو الزلاج سبحان الله آخر حلو في لوتر الزلاج لكن الله يعني لا يحمل نوى الزوم اللي تبي كم من ينقرن ذا أنتم كل الزوم يشان الزوم كتب موش حلبا ويحمس وقت ودو زوجي وكتب زاش أسو الله ذوك يقول له كتب إيش سالسو حسب بزار أسو الزوج تبع تيتاش تبع تزول بلاي جيش عم تبع تبلاي الدنيا من المشاغل ما تدخل فون كم بيت بلاي يعني وقت رامي بردي وكتب إيش سالسو الزاج من صلى الله عليه وسلم. so these are the duas that one says during the wudu and other scholars have chosen other du'as. These du'as that I've mentioned can be found in a book called Rand al-Muhtab al-Ibn Abidin, who's a Hanafi scholar. And it's not like these are the only du'as that can be said. There are other du'as that other scholars have chosen. But all of them are beneficial. Why are they beneficial? Because while you're making wudu, while you're washing your limbs and the different organs in wudu, you're not only remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you're remembering the different events and stations in the hereafter. Right? You're remembering all these different things that give your wudu more meaning and elevate you spiritually. Yeah. So instead of just washing your limbs, now you're engaged in an actual practice which has lots of meaning to you. And when you do your wudu in such a way, it will bring about within your heart, inshallah, for sure, and presence of heart. So you can imagine that if a person does wudu like this, with these du'as at every point, it's far-fetched that he would not have presence of heart in his prayer. If you make wudu in this, in this way, while, remember, while saying these du'as and remembering their meaning while you're saying them, then there's a very good chance that you'll have presence of heart and khushur in your prayer as well. Whereas if a person just comes to the sink and just wipes his hand and he's not paying attention at all, in regards to what he's doing in wudu, eh? and he ends up and he and he ends his wudu off like that, then you can expect his prayer to be the same way. The same way he went through his wudu with washing his his limbs, all he thought about was just to clean his limbs, and that's it. Then you can expect that when he enters the prayer, he's just going to make wudu, make sujood, stand up, sit down, and that's it. He's going to stop at the the bare minimum. Right? He won't go beyond that. And perfection entails that you go beyond just the bare minimum of carrying out the deed. So if you want to see perfection in the deed, there needs to be an inward element as well as an outward element to the deed itself. So you have to make sure you do the deed correctly, no doubt. You have to do it the way the Fuqaha mentioned in their books. When you wipe your uh, limbs in wudu, but at the same time, what I'm saying is that you should include these du'as in, in, in the wudu so that now your wudu has more meaning to you and uh, it brings about presence of heart and then when you have that in your wudu inshallah after you're done uh, and at the end of wudu what can you say you say um, 
اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمد اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك ان يستاني بقلبي الله اكبر two words الله اكبر الله is greater than خلاص you have the khushu in your wudu, you can expect that you'll have the khushu in your prayer bi'idhnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bi'idhnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people, they ask the question, okay, how do I have khushu in my prayer? Well, before we can answer that question, we have, before we can talk about khushu in prayer, we have to first talk about khushu in, in wudu. Because khushu in wudu will lead to khushu in prayer. That's how it works. The khushu in the wudu, presence of heart in wudu, will lead to presence of heart in the prayer and right? they're all connected together so it's very important uh, that we inshallah include this in in our wudu in subhanahu wa ta'ala on behalf of bayou had so bayou wudu zo yi ayna bi khushu rahmas katab mojo rahmas gijam akhir rahmas katara qutru ya shikatra ma kullu qam zo be min yatfit muraza shi ha gijam Ya kullu kamzo bi gijan khabar bazalnut muqam nasa. Azok zulak amzo um Allah bi kirh yaqut matawqas bi nasa. Mullu bi fil hasab bi ma'na zo bila kada. Wudu za sawi ye wudu za khushu ma nasa khana wudu an jawi. Azzo ayna bi wudu za abba khwi salat subah wi khushu ma nasa salat subah sit halwi. Mil anadi bi zozon qalb zo qutur an nara. Dina bi bah akhira bi nasa. دعاء بحث سقطور زوم ده زي زي قال الوضوء الزوق بيت الفتلة علمي سلاس وصل الهذا سا من عشان يبقى إذا بورد سا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين واجعلني من عبادك الصالحين لما جاءت سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك إن لي أن لي دعاء زو ساشا بحرلح صلاة لك أن لا تخاف يا صلاة لك أن لا الله أكبر ذا سام ملك أن لك أن لي ندبي زاشي وخشوف عم السزدة لبيتي صلاة سوم خشوف عم السيبو آل بيتي يا أن لي ودود وزاشي وناركي ما يسحب السؤال يتخبر على البيت مو كتب خشوف زا على صلاة سجدة آخر ما يتخبر على البيت الزول الجواب زو نجي بازان من أنا بنت بالو وضوء بين تاويلي من اللي جنة المفتاح زو من بعد نصها جنة المفتاح زو صلاة بين تاويلي صلاة المفتاح زو وضوء بين تاويلي يلا بعد وضوء نجي من صلاة المفتاح انت ما يا وضوء بين بحرلي الزو بحرلي الزو انا بوضوء زو خشوع بحزاء شعبوي صلاة صو خشوع بحزاء شعبوي يسا خشوع بصلاة فيزة صلاة سجدة بين يا انا بين بيش عمي ما يحفظ الرحمن بين الزاكة وصلى الله عليه وسلم so now what we've done is the outward part of the wudu. Uh, so it might come to one's mind that after performing wudu, that now I've performed wudu. I'm done wudu. What's after wudu? Prayer. Okay. But in essence, what has one done? What, what one has done is purified his outward. Uh, and the outward is what the creation see. The outward is what me and you see. Uh, the outward is what sometimes uh, what the outward is what most of the creation is judged by. Uh, so, you know, when you see someone, the way he walks or the way he talks or the way he uh, the, the way he conducts himself, this is the outward form. The way he dresses, the way he um, carries himself, this is what a person is judged by. This is what creation sees. Uh, as for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah looks towards what's in our hearts. Of course, Allah sees everything. He sees our outward and He sees our inward. He, look, he sees our outward and He sees our inward. Right. He knows about our outward actions and He knows about our inward intentions. So He knows about the outward and the inward. And the Prophet وسلم, emphasized that and clarified that for us in the hadith. In Allah la yanzur ila suwarikum wa la ila ajsadikum. Allah does not look at your outward forms nor at your physical features. 
وإنما ينظر إلى قلوبكم وأعمالكم and in another narration إلى قلوبكم ونياتكم which means that Allah does not look at your outward forms or your physical features rather He looks at your hearts and deeds and in another narration at your uh, hearts and your intentions so this is not to say that one should not pay attention to the outward deeds no, one has to pay attention to that you must perform your wudu in accordance to what the Prophet ﷺ came with you must perform the integrals you must uh, include the conditions you must avoid the invalidators but in addition to that you have to remember the intention, the inner part the inner aspect of it uh, because that plays a very big role in the in the perfection of your of your deed in the perfection of your worship yeah. عام زوا يعني شكل زوا من تاريخ جزاوي مثل هذا الشيء زوا من تاريخ جزاوي لكنه قلب زوا نيت صون تاريخ جزاوي إسحاد سوا تمية تازل تأخذ تناس أوما قلب زنا نزيف من تيلوما بس من سبز وضو زلاف بس نزل دان زلاف سبحان الله هي سوا تشوف مزد معه تبي أشين تلو مين تتقيسان يا لأي بترزا الشيء وضوء زوم شرط زوم يكير حما زت يمر بيوكت برسول عليه الصلاة والسلام زت ليه متبوكت بعشان ده الزوج الصوج يا وضوء زاش وضوء يا بر سازش كل بن الله اللي مت بشاش زل بن كيس تكشاش فوق زي قال له هو أمر له يكاني يتشاش بعيد نوبة كاين بحمسة وكان حلباوي من له الله فرد بحمسة الله له مت مدا بحمسة قلب الزوام يعني الضوء اللي بس صبر بعد مسا تروح زومتك إيش عشان بعد مسا وي تحية إيش ما الزوام اللي بنتاوي الله يكتب وش اللي يكان نزال يكتب لفون يكتب يجيب 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 ما هي أنا اللي بنتاوي كنا نزال تروح زوام يصبر ما تروح زوام تنسي ما زد يعني إذا إذا ما كسر شيء اللي كان بعد مسا الزوام اللي بيجي تروح زوام تنسي ما تروح زوام إيش عشان بنتاوي صلاة اللي كان نزال وي هي أنا اللي بنروح نحل باوي وي بنتاوي بلا زر قشور وي وأنا أما وساش هو بيت ما روح لا إلى مش بعد مسام التاو يترزع ونزف هو أستوى وقال أحد الله متاو يا أستوى أن يزف هو بيت بيجي حد يسوان يا سا أن تسوي سبب ما روح سوي سبب ما وبي روح سوي تنانسي ما روح سوي كشاش ما يجلا بيا سوين بنتاو روح سوي تحيش من سبب صلاة كان نزال. Okay, seems like Maghrib is in. Just one last two things I want to say. Inshallah, that before I finish off, is that. In essence, uh, okay. in essence, one purifies one's heart through tawbah, right? through tawbah, and through uh, purifying oneself of low, filthy, burdening qualities. And these qualities include uh, the stuff that we've been hearing about quite often: envy, jealousy, arrogance, hatred, showing off vanity, uh, seeking the love of dunya and seeking the love of status. All these things are vices, filthy qualities, low qualities that one needs to work upon himself in getting rid of them. Right? And the way to know about before getting rid of them is to first know about them. The doctor, when he wants to help a patient, does he say, does, does he just say, here's the medicine, go cure yourself? Right? No. What does he do? He, he has his book beside him, now they have tablets, but he has his book beside him and he writes down, okay, you have this issue, or he just at least listens to him and says, you have this issue, okay, he tells him, I have this issue, okay, he asks him probing questions, when does that happen to you, at what time of day, is it just once, or is it recurring, uh, or is it, 
it just happened once and never came back, or and so on. So he probed and he asked the questions and says, oh, okay, this is your issue. Okay, so this is the medicine. Then he writes him a list and he goes to the pharmacy and picks up his medicine. Is that not the case? This is the, the way the doctor works. Okay, when it comes to the heart, it's the same issue. A person needs to first diagnose what's the issue there. He needs to know the signs of arrogance, the signs of uh, showing off, the signs of insincerity. We have the signs of envy, the signs of hatred. Uh, and then he needs to do introspection of himself and see where do I fall uh, in, in all of this? Uh, what's my issue? What's my problem? And then he diagnoses it. And then, and this, there are scholars that talked about this. Imam al-Ghazali talked about this. And Imam al-Haddad talked about this. Rahimahullah. And so they mentioned the, the diagnosis. They mentioned the signs of these vices. And they even mentioned how to deal with them and how to the solution. They mentioned the, they, they mentioned the solution to these problems. Uh, so they really put thought into this. It's not just these two scholars, the other scholars as well. But they put really, like, mashallah, they put a lot of thought into this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them tawfiq and opened it up for them. And alhamdulillah, those that came after them benefited a lot from them. Uh, so Toba and clearing oneself of these lowly characters, burdening qualities that I've just mentioned. And those are two things that help. And we have to remember at the end of the day what the Prophet وسلم, said, in Allah Tayyibun La illa Allah is Tayyib huh? and He only accepts pureness, that which is Tayyib. That's, That's what it comes down to. Huh? Our wudu and our prayer, we are sending forth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, what are we sending and to whom are we sending it to? That's the question. We are sending wudu and prayers, very important things. To whom? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of everything. So it's only imperative that we perfect it and we do it to the best, in the best way possible, so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it from us. We do it and we ask for acceptance. It's not like we do it and say, Alhamdulillah, it's accepted. No, no, no. We don't know it. We don't know that it's just accepted or not. We do it and we ask for acceptance. We ask for tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's a... It's a... It's an ongoing process. We ask Allah to give us tawfiq in our religious endeavors and make our today better than our yesterday and tomorrow better than our today, inshallah. And may Allah forgive us of any past sins. And uh, enable us to to fulfill our duty in this life before before we die, inshallah. Well, we got this to so many in the baby side. If the men we as well, but just in a match, I wrote a lot of things. So, we're so enough for it. And that you must have the last man, you are for cash and a lot of them. ما يجيك ما بين بحرز من أنت بابنا للنبي يعني من كشاف رح مسا كوفز ومصبر مس كان مسا يا قلب اللي نتوا استشياكوا من أنت نوك تشعل بعد أحد زنته حكيم ده زحارة سا من أتبع حل حكيم ذو ممكن تعيش خال أيد خال حتى خال ما كان شخال من أتبع حل بيجي يجيب ده استشياك يكتب ما الزؤينا إلا لكون قال دوا استحل بدي في زخانة ساعة جاء في ندي الندي يي كوش ستة يوما يعني بوسوس ستة وتبيعة من انت يوما وقتش حلوي يا كوش ستة يوما بوسوس ستة وتبيعة ما ناش انت وبانا نارقر كبر ايناش ازوك سوزو يرون ايناش ازوك سوزو حستي ايناش ازوك سوزو حكدي ايناش حجم ونارقر حيث كل محمال نارة لساش انت يوما وصول ما تيجي عينا تيجي حسدي ذكدي كبري كل زي محجم أنا رجل ما ناش أنت يكوش تبيعك أنت يومي ما يكوش تبيعك من أنت يوزع أسا أزياد في قلب رزق وقلب رزق أزياد يتلعب بعدين ما أزياد في موقع تشعل بعدين بيجي لي ما ما جم أعرضيو إذا كدوم كتبت جزاء وقد الزوج الزوج يروك أبد له نسدد أنا نسدد هذا مسألة بين أجلس نعمل له بين رخ بكت له بيان عشرنا النادى عشرنا النادى يسا يأين بسلاس سوى سبتا يتخشال بايو الزبحر أخوي أخام الله ويتوكسين تاوي يتكبل باكتا 
ملله آن انسان او دو آش خود که بر بنا به تلاش می دانم حل آن اعلام ملله نتی نوتات من خطا شما حل از وقت صبح صلاح صبح می حد چی می کنند تامی تکبالو می تکبال نیال مود تکبالی می می کنند تامی یله الله في تقصر بيت كبر بوقت خام صلاة صوم استجد بحر قلب زور بتشناتي نبرب عن تخش الكافي استند كبرون كبرلون خناق مو يعني زرقه بولون في صور زي ما حطوا الزور هنا خناق بيتي وين قلب زور بتشنات حلبا وين ملة نقوم قلب كافي حلزو هي أنا بنروح زو مسبق مسروق زو متينا نسمع مسنتا ويا شذر وعطكم صوب قال سر خالد ما يفون جوا يا رب فون وات أجو أجو فون جوا رب سو مترات يلا هذا يا رب سو مترات يلا هذا تم جوسوس حال ما بين ما بين الزبوع كنا البديتا رب مترام كبرين على زو متأشان أزو كسوزو يا رب بيتي بوا أزو كسو على وتي الدنيا حالات كوش 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 حالات اللي زلا هي الدنيا حالات خذ ما عنده إما ما عندك سدينة تتقتل بيتي نجي كلهم كوش حالات عنده الناس يوقع ينبرق من أنت ما الله وفت لنا و يقول له شيء ذي مجا في دلاجزه النزيف سجب حلخ حديث توي الله تقصر في قلب سبرزه هي صلاة وزوجه مسمى الصدق صدقه ما كم شيء ما بينك في الشغل فقدان رفضنا صلاة نازو حس حج ونرجع مستشين تشغل نزل حرتين دك صدقه ما شيش تن صدقه مستلف معك بنا حد سبحان الله هي أي نزيف توس إن حري من أش كل أنت هو هي لبيت الزوج نرفضنا تقصيرنا ومحاجة ومحاسب ما الزوج لازم يرفضنا الواي يعني زتنا يعني يعني الشغل ما هم حلبنا بس الله يوفقه الزوج سو الله حسنا سرتب له كتب زاي بهم كتب عشان ما هي قلبي وتجر وصل وخمين تبايون توبة تاون يا إذا قبل أو شيء لا جس إذا جس أو شيء لا خوي توبة عشان تاوي بعدي يا توبة بين تاوي يا تهرب زاوية كبيرة لا ظاهر ما تهر حظه مين بعتر ما تهر تا كوتان ما تهر خوي كبيرة تهرب من تاوي توبة تاوي كوت أين بي تهر عن تاوي كبيرة سبحان الله سلام الله عليكم Are there any questions? Yes, I have a question. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Because I understand. When you wash your right feet, you mentioned dua. Yes. But what about left foot? I didn't mention for left foot. I did not write it down. Sorry. Okay. Maybe I maybe I dropped it on the second review. Actually, it's one. It's one dua for both. Okay. Wash both feet and make that dua. If I come to learn about another dua, I'll let you know. Uh, let's say three times by the Lord and three times the Salah and the Prophet. Okay, inshallah we can have someone make a land for us. Ali? Ali? <laughs>